What's going on, guys? So, you know, um, I'm sitting here um, in my closet. I might get this property renovated. I haven't officially moved in yet, but I close on the 28th of May. And, you know, I'm over here looking at, like, the, the real estate plays I've already made this year. And I was already breaking down, like, something, like, real simple, real small, like, when it comes to, like, if you're an, an entrepreneur where you need to invest. But for me personally, I'm like, yo, because I got so deep in the tax game, and I paid more in tax when I made 550 than I did when I made well over a million. So I paid less in tax when I made 1.4 million than I did when I made 550,000. So I started figuring out that, hey, look, using an apartment, even though I was, I've been living in a high rise condo for a while, because it was one of my affirmations, was to live in a high rise condo. I did it, I loved it, I, it was great. I love concierge, all that good stuff, but that, con, that condo was costing me $48,000 a year. So at some point, when I really started identifying like, hey, look, man, I'm getting a write off for this because you can write off of, even though I'm an entrepreneur, I have a business, I have a commercial address. I was writing off about 50 percent of that mortgage payment. I mean, that rent payment, but I wasn't getting any equity. So I'm, I'm lowering my taxable income, give or take twenty four thousand dollars. But then I realized that when I really start getting into taxes um, and I won't make this all about taxes, it will make more sense to go purchase something that I own and then go get a rental property. So I, I started making the necessary steps to do that. So I got a rental, got a rental property in North Carolina. The mortgage on that rental property is eighteen fifty a month. Okay, and um, I'm getting ready to get a renter in that property that's going to pay me twenty three hundred dollars a month. So that rental property is going to be paying cash flowing for itself. I already identified a property management company. It's called Mind M Y N D. Highly recommended if you're in North Carolina or Georgia because they're not in all fifty states. But if you go with Mind, cool one fifty a month. They'll take care of everything, finding a renter, screening them, and then they even have um, protection for uh, if something, if something, they, they give you $15,000 worth of protection. So if somebody can't pay the rent or they, evict, they get evicted, they'll take care of all of that stuff for you. Moral of the story, that property, when I acquired it, um, I acquired from somebody else who was like, hey, look, we just, we want to, we want to get, get rid of it. Can you take over the mortgage? I said, sure. It was $335,000 in a mortgage. When I last checked, the house is worth 481. So what's the play? I'm pa I'm passively increasing my cash flow. Somebody else is gonna pay for that mortgage, right? And then I got roughly I want to say about 100 150 thousand dollars in equity already. Now the other thing, this play, this particular property, I didn't have to use my I did use my personal credit, but I didn't use my personal taxes. I have a trust, so this property was acquired through the trust. But the point is, is that. When I got it, when I got approved for the mortgage, everything, my mortgage payment is only like two thousand dollars a month, right? Um, and I got a three thousand square foot, three three and a half, a three three story townhouse, uh, four bedroom, three and a half bath, two car garage in a pretty boy area that's only going up in equity. And right down the street for me is million dollar homes, literally. That being said, you look at even if I have to pay for the mortgage for like a month or two, the eighteen fifty, which I'm not. Plus this mortgage, we're only at thirty-eight fifty. I was paying four thousand dollars a month in rent, and now that same money I've redirected into two properties, and I own over nine hundred and fifty, almost damn near a million dollars in real estate, right? And one's going to cash flow and build equity. This one I'm gonna live in. I'm a, and then the other thing I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna renovate it. And the top places for you to get more value out of your property is when you renovate the bathrooms, the kitchen floors, lighting, and all that good stuff. So when I'm done with it, even though I'm going to stay for two years, this property's value is going to go up, even though it's already going up 30000 This property is going to be done, probably going to go up like 100, 100 I would say 100000 So if I choose a cash flow this or sell it, I'm going to sell it up, pay off that mortgage, keep it moving. But because I don't own this property, those proceeds are going to go to the trust. And because of the way I have my trust set up, it's not going to necessarily be an exchange. Um, it's not going to be a... Um, a, uh, a transaction, so to speak. It will be a transaction, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to say, hey, look, the trust is exchanging X, Y, Z in exchange for this, so that way it can avoid tax. Whew. And then the same exact thing I've said before, my LL, I have the North Carolina property, I have an, I'm forming an LLC for that property, which means that property is owned by an LLC, which is owned by a corporation, and that corporation is owned by the trust, and I control the trust. That's how you want to set this shit up, bro. But the thing is, instead of me paying out $48,000, right, I redirected into two assets that's worth over a million and I got cash flow coming in. Got to think with your mind here, guys. Fuck that tax. Fuck just renting. And again, there's nothing wrong with renting. You want to own where you live. You want to you really ideally um, own what you rent and live where you 
um, rent where you um, live. However, when you're a dynamic entrepreneur and you make good money, right? Like me, I can, I can turn 50 to two, 283 in a, in a matter of 45 days. When you're a dynamic entrepreneur, you gotta start thinking about equity and assets because most people don't have the ability to make money. So this video that I'm saying in these, these pieces of tidbits, I'm giving this to that entrepreneur that's doing a half a million, doing a million, doing three, doing four, doing five million. Okay, because you wanna be thinking about the long-term play, not the short-term play.